Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about the ubiquitous skincare fridge that I'm seeing all over Instagram. You literally cannot go on Instagram and any sort of skincare hashtag without seeing a skincare fridge. And if you don't know what a skincare fridge is, it's basically just like a mini fridge where you store skincare products. So let's talk a little bit about the science behind why you would want to refrigerate skincare in the first place. So there are two main reasons why you would want to refrigerate skincare. The first reason is that chemical reactions slow down at cooler temperatures. Now, skincare has obviously chemicals in it. No matter what natural beauty companies want you to believe, all skincare is composed of chemicals. So the way that molecules generally react is that they bump into each other with enough force to react. So you have to have the molecules moving fast enough to increase the likelihood of them bumping into each other. And they also have to actually hit each other with enough force to react. So heat is a form of energy that causes molecules to move faster. So adding heat to a reaction causes the molecules to move a lot faster and bump into each other with a lot more force. And most of the time in skincare, you generally don't want these reactions occurring in your skincare products after you've bought them. Chemical reactions in skincare products are really, really unwanted because you don't want to change the chemical composition of your skincare products. If you buy a serum, you want to be applying the ingredients that that serum is supposed to contain, not some weird byproduct of some reactions that are going on in your product. So if you reduce heat in the skincare product by refrigerating it, you're basically slowing down any sort of chemical reaction from occurring. Now, keep in mind that that doesn't mean that cooling down your skincare products by sticking them in a skincare fridge is going to completely stop any unwanted reactions from happening. In order to completely stop any reactions from happening, you would have to go to absolute zero, which is zero degrees Kelvin, which is quite cold. The second main reason why you would want to refrigerate your skincare is because microbes generally don't like growing in cold environments. Most microbes like bacteria and mold really enjoy growing in warm environments. And so when I worked in my research lab during undergrad as a chemical engineering major, um, I worked a lot with E. coli cells, which is a bacterial cell. And in order to grow my E. coli strains, I had to put them in an incubator at a nice warm temperature. So keeping your skincare products in something like a fridge really inhibits microbial growth. However, it is worth noting that the packaging of your skincare products really, really matters. So packaging like jar packaging generally tends to be quite unsanitary because it really runs a risk of microbial contamination because think about it. In a jar packaging, you're dipping your fingers into it, you're dipping a spoon into it, whatever apparatus you're using to get the product out potentially is containing microbes. Not even potentially, it definitely contains microbes on it. Unless you are sticking your skincare spoon in an autoclave to sterilize it completely, there's no way that your spoon doesn't have any sort of bacterial or fungus on it. The air contains a ton of microbes in it, and so just by exposing skincare to the air, you're risking contamination. Preservatives also play a huge role in this microbe equation. Preservatives are absolutely essential for the safety of a product. I get really nervous about like all natural skincare products that really boast not having any preservatives in them because once that product is contaminated with like a bacteria or a mold, it's game over. And once that occurs, if you continue to apply that contaminated product to your skin, you could seriously run the risk of infection. Parabens are actually one of the most common preservative systems out there and there's a lot of debate about whether or not they're safe on the skin. So if you wanna hear my personal opinion about whether I think parabens are safe or not in skincare, then give this video a thumbs up and comment down below in the comments that you wanna see it. So like I said, there are really two main reasons why you would wanna refrigerate skincare in the first place. One, because it slows down any unwanted chemical reactions from occurring, and two, it slows down the rate of growth of microbes. And this is all from a safety perspective. So obviously there are tons of reasons why you may wanna keep a skincare product in the fridge from a more sensory experience. Like for example, putting an eye cream in the fridge and taking it out when you want to apply it, having that cold eye cream on your under eye area, let me tell you, feels amazing. And then also just like the cooling, refreshing feeling of a cold toner on your skin can be really, really lovely in the morning. But all in all, safety and maintaining the integrity of the product is the main reason why you'd want to refrigerate skincare. So now let's specifically talk about skincare fridges. Now a skincare fridge, like I said earlier, is just like a very mini fridge. It's like a tiny little fridge, like even smaller than the fridges that you see in hotels. Think smaller than that. They're like really tiny <laughs> and they're really, really cute. So the title of this video is 
are skincare fridges worth it? And it really, really depends on what product you're using. In my opinion, if you're using a more natural skincare that doesn't have aggressive preservative systems in place, you may want to refrigerate your skincare. But honestly, in my opinion, there's absolutely no need to go out and buy a separate mini skincare fridge to put in your beauty space. Not only will it increase your energy bill, but it also increases your carbon footprint. And like, honestly, it's 2020, it's time to wake up. It's time to, you know, really make conscious decisions on how to be a little bit more sustainable for our future. I read a quote somewhere that said that sustainability or like environmentalism is not about one person doing it perfectly. It's about thousands and thousands of people doing it imperfectly. So that's what I want you to take away from this video is that even though it's a good idea to refrigerate some skincare products, there's no need to go out and buy a skincare fridge because it's just not a sustainable way to do skincare. So I'm gonna guess that you have a functioning fridge at home and so there's really nothing stopping you from sticking your eye cream or your toner or any sort of like vitamin C serum in your fridge. So if after watching this video you decide, you know, she made a lot of good points and I think I do want to refrigerate my skincare, um, I'm just gonna let you know that you don't need to go out and buy a separate skincare fridge. You can just use your normal fridge that's in your kitchen. I do wanna make a note really quickly that there are some products that you should not refrigerate. Um, for example, the first one that comes to mind are oils oils can get quite finicky in texture and they can become cloudy if you refrigerate an oil. So keep that in mind, oils generally don't need to be refrigerated because it changes the texture of the product, but for stuff like vitamin C serums, which are very unstable, for eye creams, if you want that like cooling sensation underneath your eyes, if you wanna put a toner in the fridge so you have that really refreshing feeling on your skin in the morning, those are all fine to refrigerate. So hopefully this video answered your question about whether or not skincare fridges are worth it. And in my opinion, no, you absolutely don't need to buy a skincare fridge if you have a functioning fridge in your house. Not only do skincare fridges increase your energy bill, they're also kind of bad for the environment in general, and they're just a waste of money and energy. So all in all, I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, then give this video a thumbs up and comment down below with what kind of videos you want to see on my channel because I am uploading three times a week now, which is kind of a lot, so help me out here and come up with video ideas. I do have most of next month planned already, but I am always looking for new ideas to incorporate into vlogs or other videos, so definitely Definitely let me know. And also, if you want a parabens video, do let me know because it's something I've been thinking about a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending this time with me. Have a beautiful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye!